ませんか Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate all the support, and we have finally reached 12,000 subscribers. In today's video, I will be doing my top 10 non sauropod herbivorous animals. The reason why I am not including sauropods is because our long neck friends are the biggest land animals to ever live, and I would rather show some of the animals who are overshadowed by them. Also, the sauropods would take over the whole video. At number 10, p a r a s a u r o l o p h u s c r i t o c r i s t a t u s The first animal we will be starting with is a type of hadrosaurid. p a r a s a u r o l o p h u s meaning beside crested lizard, lived in what is now Western North America and possibly Asia during the late Cretaceous period, about 76.9 to 73.5 million years ago. These animals were able to move as a biped and a quadruped. Hadrosaurs were social animals that lived in large herds, which provided safety in numbers. Most people think that these animals were defenseless, and they didn't have much armor to defend themselves, yet they can kick, trample, or whip their tails against predators like d e s p l e t o s a u r u s These groups of animals are known for their range of bizarre head adornments, which were likely used for communication and increased hearing, and the large, elaborate cranial crest. Which forms a long curved tube projecting upwards and back from the skull in its largest form. The biggest species is p a r a s a u r o l o p h u s c r i t o c r i s t a t u s and was thought to be 12.7 tons and 13 meters long. At number nine, Stegotetrabelodon serticus. Stegotetrabelodon is an extinct genus of primitive elephantid from the late Miocene to early Pliocene of Africa, the Arabian Peninsula. And Italy about 8 to 4.2 million years ago. In comparison to later elephantids, Stegotetrabelodon has several primitive features, including the retention of permanent premolar teeth, an elongated mandibular symphysis, and large lower tusks under its mouth that it shared with its gomphothere ancestors. The size of this animal was around 12 tons and 4 meters tall, at number 8. Stegodon s d a n s k y Now we have the first elephant like animal in our list. This is an extinct genus of proboscidean, related to elephants. It was originally assigned to the family Elephantidae, along with modern elephants, but is now placed in the extinct family Stegodontidae. Like elephants, Stegodon had teeth with plate like lops that are different from those of more primitive proboscideans, like gomphotheres and mammatids. Fossils of the genus are known from Africa and across much of Asia, including North America, during the late Miocene and Pleistocene, around 11.6 million to 11,700 years ago. As adults, they didn't have basically no predators, but Komodo dragons, macro predatory bears, and saber tooth cats would prey on the smaller individuals. The size of the biggest species was around 12.7 tons. And 3.87 meters tall. Number seven, Colombian mammoth. This giant is an extinct species of mammoth that inhabited North America from southern Canada to Costa Rica during the Pleistocene epoch, about 1.3 million years ago. The Colombian mammoth was among the last mammoth species. The Colombian mammoth was one of the largest species of mammoth, larger than the woolly mammoth. And the African bush elephant. It had long curved tusks and four molars at a time, which were replaced six times during the lifetime of an individual. It most likely used its tusks and trunk like modern elephants for manipulating objects, fighting, and foraging. Bones and stomach contents have been discovered, but no preserved carcasses are known. The size of this creature was about 4.2 meters tall and 12.5 tons. At number six, Deinotherium thraciensis. Deinotherium is an extinct genus of large, elephant like proboscideans that lived from about the Middle Miocene until the early Pleistocene around 8.5 to 2.7 million years ago. Although its appearance is reminiscent of modern elephants, 
Dinotherium possessed a notably more flexible neck, with limbs adapted to a more cursorial lifestyle, as well as tusks which grew down and curved back from the mandible, as opposed to the forward-growing maxillary tusks of extant elephants. The size of this elephant-like animal was 13.2 tons and 4 meters tall. Number 5. Steppe Mammoth Mammothus trogontheri, sometimes called the steppe mammoth, is an extinct species of mammoth that ranged over most of northern Eurasia during the early and middle Pleistocene, approximately 1.7 million to 200,000 years ago. Steppe mammoth marked the initial adaptation of the mammoth lineage towards cold environments, with the species probably being covered in a layer of fur. One of the largest mammoth species, a massive specimen indicated the biggest individual was about 4.5 meters tall and 14.3 tons, making it contender of the biggest elephant and non-sauropod land animal. Number four, Edmontosaurus anectens. Edmontosaurus lived in North America in the late Campanian age of the Cretaceous period, 73 million years ago. Edmontosaurus is classified as a genus of Sauralophene, or hadrosaurine, hadrosaurid, a member of the group of hadrosaurids that lacked large, hollow crests and instead had smaller, solid crests, or fleshy combs. Edmontosaurus is thought to have lived in groups and may have been migratory as well. The wealth of fossils has allowed researchers to study its paleobiology in detail, including its brain, how it may have fed, and its injuries and pathologies, such as evidence for Tyrannosaur rex attacks on a few specimens. The average size of these animals were around five to six tons, but the biggest individual specimen was a whopping 15 tons. Number three, Paleoloxodon nematicus. Okay guys, before some of you come at me since our friend here is not. Number one, let's review something important. As you should know, other Paleoloxodon get pretty big like Reki and Antiquus, and both were around 12 tons, but correct me if I am wrong. But the biggest species, Nematicus, has some controversial sizes. This animal's size has been a big misconception for a while now. A fragmentary lower portion of a femur described in 1834 in the same publication that described the femurs of the Sagauni specimen stated that this femur was almost a quarter larger than that from Sigauni. Laramendi calculated an extrapolated femur length of 1.9 meters and a speculative size estimate of 5.2 meters tall at the shoulder and 22 tons in body mass, which if correct would make Nematicus possibly the largest land mammal ever. However, Laramendi stated that this estimate should be taken with a grain of salt, treated with caution, as they could not locate the specimen, and it is a very controversial estimate as of right now. The most reliable mass estimate for the biggest specimen preserved is called the Narmada specimen, and was around 14 tons. This animal is an extinct species of prehistoric elephant known from the Middle Pleistocene to Late Pleistocene of the Indian subcontinent, and possibly also elsewhere in Asia, about 2.5 million to 11,700 years ago. The species grew larger than any living elephant. At number two, Shantungosaurus giganteus. The Shantungosaurus is a genus of very large Saurolophene hadrosaurid dinosaur found in the late Cretaceous Wangxi group of the Shandong Peninsula in China about 85 to 75 million years ago. Also containing a single species, this was the biggest hadrosaur ever discovered. Shantungosaurus is known from over five incomplete skeletons. Chinese scientist Xing Xu and his colleagues indicate that Shantungosaurus is very similar to and shares many unique characters with Edmontosaurus, forming a node of an Edmontosaurus Shantungosaurus clade between North America and Asia based on the new materials recovered in Shandong. This giant wouldn't have many predators, but a Tyrannosaurus called Zhucheng Tyrannus would probably prey on smaller individuals. But if the Tyrannosaurus were in groups, then they could take down an adult. Professionals named Butler and Barrett 
estimated its maximum length up to 17 meters and 19 tons. But Gregory S. Paul suggested that previous studies have overestimated the size of this dinosaur. The newest size for this giant was about 14.38 meters long and weighed about 16 tons. Number one, Paracaratherium transuralicum. Paraceratherium is an extinct genus of hornless rhinoceratoids belonging to the family Paraceratheriidae. It is one of the largest terrestrial mammals that has ever existed, also biggest non-sauropod land animals, and lived from the early to late Oligocene epoch, 34 to 23 million years ago. The legs were long and pillar-like. The lifestyle of Paraceratherium may have been similar to that of modern large mammals, such as the elephants and extant rhinoceroses. Because of its size, it would have had few predators and a long gestation period. It was a browser, eating mainly leaves, soft plants, and shrubs. It lived in habitats ranging from arid deserts, with a few scattered trees, to subtropical forests. This titan was 4.8 meters tall and weighed 20 tons. As you can see, there are many different large herbivorous animals instead of sauropods that exist in our world. If you like this content, then like and subscribe for more.